Jeremy's story you know, in baseball was he was making millions of dollars, but he was still miserable mm -hmm. until he had this encounter with a homeless teenager where he gave her a meal. He was filled with this incredible fulfillment that baseball wasn't giving him. Um, and he kind of t put the dots together and figured, there's a reason I'm feeling this way. Um, and that changed his entire baseball career to, I'm gonna play baseball to help others as opposed to advance his career. We're here at Darren Duty from Generation Alive. Thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. Tell us about Generation Alive. Generation Alive was founded by a guy named Jeremy Affelt. Uh, he was a four-time World Series pitcher. Uh, grew up in Spokane and back in 2006, actually, he started Generation Alive with this idea to empower students to serve their community. So over the last several years, we've grown, we've exploded really. We're in about 25 schools every year here in Spokane. A handful of schools down in the Bay Area as well, because he pitched for the San Francisco Giants. Yeah. So we're also down there. But this is home base right here in Spokane. We work with about 10,000 kids every year, and we empower them to serve the community through action and service. So we have a 14-week program where we work with a group of leadership kids right in the classroom. Um, and we teach them about leadership, character, needs in their community, and how they can address their needs in their community. And then we give them a project that they themselves lead in their school. Um, one, our biggest program is called Something to Eat, where they make meals for local food banks. And this group of leadership kids will lead their entire school um, in a fundraiser where for every quarter the school raises, it equals one meal. Um, mm. And then we set up these big production lines in their schools where they make anywhere from 10 to 20,000 meals. So the kids are putting on hair nets and gloves and they're experiencing the joy of serving. So we don't just tell them to do it, we show them how to do it. And then we try to encourage them to think of other ways they can serve their community. Because once they've experienced that feeling, what it's like to serve somebody, we want to get them out there uh, serving. And what a better time than right now. So Dan, how did you get involved in Generational Life? Um, well, I was a youth pastor for about 18 years here in Spokane, so I worked with a lot of kids, and that was always been my passion to work with kids. And one day I was in a coffee shop up north, uh, ran into a, a friend of mine who knew our founder, Jeremy Affelt, and they were dreaming about this nonprofit. And he asked me if I'd want to come in and sit down and learn about it. And I started out on the board of directors and then got hired on full time about 10 years ago. Oh, wow. So, yeah. You've been doing it in a decade. Been, yeah, just, just did a, this summer, it'll be, a, it'll be 10 years. Yeah, oh, that's great. How is everything that's going on right now with COVID and all the crisis, how has that impacted what you guys are doing? Well, it's impacted a lot. I mean, since uh, the governor shut the schools down for the remainder of the school year, obviously that creates some challenges for us because we're in school. So mm -hmm. we're every week through our, we, we recruit college interns every year. They're all from Gonzaga, Whitworth, Eastern, and we train them, equip them. They're the ones that are on the campus, in the classrooms, working with these leadership kids and then helping us put together the larger program for the entire school school's out. So um, so for us, we've been brainstorming, you know, how can we take this idea of compassion? That's our, that's our big word at Generation Lives, compassion, which for us is sympathy plus action. So you don't just feel bad when you see a problem, but you do something about it. So at Generation Alive, we're trying to figure out now, how do we communicate that with kids that are, you know, in shelter in place? How mm -hmm. can they serve their family? How can they serve their neighbors? How can they serve their community in this time? And so it's, it's been a challenge. So we're, we're just starting out with our own Zoom action teams. So those leadership teams we're inviting into a Zoom session. And we're gonna start out just by learning from kids. What are they doing um, to serve their families, to serve their communities? Um, we're gonna help them brainstorm different ways that they can do that. Um, another way that we're doing that, we have an app. Uh, it's a Generation Live app. You can just get it from Apple or, for, or Google, or you can actually just go online to generationallive.org slash app, and you download this app, and on the app, kids have their own profile, and they do what's called compassion action. So they, on a feed, kind of like any of those social media sites that we go to, there's a feed, and they will input what they did. So a lot of it uh, could be, I emptied the dishwasher without being asked, or um, we get them from, I clean my brother's room, do I help my neighbor, to I volunteered at the Union Gospel Mission. And then the second question is, why'd you do it? And then they'll, they'll respond mm. to that, and then they can post pictures. And so we just opened that uh, broader than just the schools we work in. We just opened it to the whole public. So we'd love to get the stories of what people are doing, and they can post that right on the thread, and all the students can see what each other are doing, and they can like those, and, um, and then we can share their stories. So yeah. we're excited for that. I love it. Celebrating positivity, celebrating making a difference. 
So we talk with kids about what is a leader. And a lot of times students think this, a leader is, you know, the ASB president or the, whoever, you know, that they've always looked up to. And we try to show them that a leader is anybody that has followers. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you got, and if you don't have followers, you're not a leader. You can call yourself whatever you want, but if there's nobody following you, you're not leading anybody. Well, and a lot of these high school kids specifically, you know, they were just told they're not going back to school for yeah. the rest of the year. There's all this time and they don't get to go out and be together. They don't get to do these things. And there's ways that they can learn lessons and find meaning and add value that will be, have a huge impact on, on Spokane. Absolutely. So one of the th problems that we're seeing with this coronavirus is, at least for me, I mean, I'm not used to working from home and I get a little stir crazy. Right. Um, and even a little depressed, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. It's like, what, do I, what am I doing? This is just so different, so hard. Um, some of the most recent studies that have come out from not only Stanford, uh, Psychology Today just came out with an article a few months ago that when you volunteer and then when you serve other people, that scientifically it changes the chemistry of your brain, that it actually increases your immune system. It decreases depression. Um, it makes you happier. So when you get out and you serve others, it actually changes you. Um, we didn't know that when we started Generation Live. I mean, it's kind of a duh, but scientifically, we didn't have any evidence mm -hmm. necessarily, but now there's a lot of studies that have shown the power of service. And so that's one thing we encourage kids is, look, you're stuck here, it's different. Don't spend all your time on your video games, on your TV, look for ways to get out and serve others. Because it not only will it help those people, but it helps you too. Darren, thanks for telling your story and telling us all about Generation Alive. I'm Dan Kuhlman, and we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for joining us today. Check out Community Positive, a TV show dedicated to promoting positivity. Each week, we highlight business owners and community leaders doing incredible things in the Spokane community. Saturday and Sunday at 6 on Fox 28.